guys, I got a Tulium 250 aluminum MIG welder, and it does work great with the yellow whip here and the uh, just the European style hookup there. Um, so I obviously I got it, um, and and uh, it has power. But here's what ha here's what it, here's what here's what, exactly what happens. Normally, those two prongs control the trigger. So when you switch it in there to uh, to the gun, it, will, it, it undoes that and it allows you to hook it up there because the gun, uh, small gun only has the cord that goes in and plugs in there and then it turns those two that used to be the trigger, those two pins that used to be the trigger are now there. So those two triggers become the power. So the power goes in here and it turns this. This is 12, and, or this is a 24 volt gun. They're both 20. For if you look at the back, it says 24 volts. Um, also, it doesn't work. So what happens is um, it'll be constantly on. As soon as you plug this in, it detects that there's a motor. See, listen. I won't even. I won't. I won't even have to pull the trigger to, to show you because. See that? Just connecting it. It detects the uh, perfectly tested. I perfectly tested the spool gun, so and everything has the good resistance, and it puts out about 10 volts for some reason. It doesn't control the speed when you dial it, adjust it. So, what do you get? You get this that stays on. You'll constantly have power when you hook this up. What happens? Something that you don't want, because listen. Here. Um, all that's really doing is maybe adjusting the voltage, but it's it's already on. I already I already checked it because you can see I popped it a couple times just to confirm that it's always hot. And some welders are always hot. Tap into the wire and connect it into the, into this wire into here, either here, and then to be able to use the dial. 